Hey guys, and welcome back to the Minecraft Endeavorit scheme. I am your host, Endeavorit, and as promised, I said it would happen soon. Today, we are going to build right here, and we are going to build a sweet, huge lighthouse. So this time, I actually fell off on purpose. I know, it's surprising. But as you can see here, I have prepared the area to start building. So I've put torches around so that when it gets dark, no mobs will spawn right up in my face. Let's actually place a few more out here. I've also made the island just a little bit bigger so that I can fit the blueprint of what I'm... Because I've sort of, you know, designed a blueprint for this. And so that way we can fit it in the space. It'll fit in between these four blocks that are higher than everything else. And I've moved the chest out here with all the wool and all the other stuff that we're going to need. So how this episode's basically going to work <clears throat> is... I'm going to start construction here. I think I'll probably build the outline and the floor while you guys watch. And then I'm going to speed it up to not a time lapse, but I'll just record the whole thing and speed up the middle section so that it goes by hopefully very fast. Oh, and this is a problem. Apparently I didn't prepare the whole thing. So right now I'm going to just dig out the outline of the building and then fill that in with my stone brick that's what I've decided to use when I'm not using the actual wool because I'm gonna try and conserve the wool as much as possible because I have so much I actually haven't done the math to figure out how much wool I'm necess like I'm definitely going to need however I think that I just have so freaking much wool that, you know, it shouldn't really be an issue. So here we go, we got our initial outline. So this, so basically how this is going to work is the lighthouse is going, oh my gosh. This is going to take a very long time if I can't place anything correctly. So basically it's going to be a three or four tiered lighthouse. So basically there'll be three red and white striped sections and they'll be of decreasing so like the first story of course is going to be this big as big as this ring is here and then the next story will be a little bit smaller and the next one after that will be a little bit smaller then will be the glowstone <clears throat> let's actually put the glowstone in here and get out our red and white and our red and white and our red and white okay here we go and let's see the door I say it goes right here. So, let's put two here. And I'm going to make the stripes match as best I can, but there's only so much you can do when you're working with wool. So skip two, and then more white. Oh, geez. And so anyway, yeah, so then there'll be glowstone, and then there'll be just a little bit of a cap on top of that to sort of, you know, finish off the top of the lighthouse. So two. Whew. Stop falling in, please. You don't go there. So yeah, I'm sort of nervous about running out of wool, but I just want to get this done so much that we are just going to do it right now. And if I get to, like, the end and I've actually run out, then I guess I will just end the episode there. So this next section here, once I get in this first like few rows that I can show you what this will basically look like, then we will speed it up and it will go at warp speed. So let's see right there and right here. I should really, you know, I'm not going to need a shovel or a pick or the stairs for a very long time. So... Red goes there, white goes there. So now we can just switch between the two very easily. Yes, I'm going to skip this little space. See, that'll be white, so this has to be red. There we go. So basically, as best as I can, these stripes are going to sort of follow the lighthouse all the way up to the top. Um, but because of the way that the layers, you know, get smaller, 
The stripes won't necessarily match up and look great on the second story, but it's the best that I've been able to do so far. So as you can see, it's going to sort of look like that for the first, I think, six block layers is how tall the first story will be. Then it will get four tall, then three tall, and then that's where I will put the glowstone. So guys, I guess I'm going to sort of leave you now. I don't know if I'll put a song in. I don't think I can do that under copyright law. So I'll probably just have a fairy. Oh, maybe I could put some Minecraft music on. Hmm, that's a good idea. So, enjoy the peaceful Minecraft music as I continue to work on this lighthouse. And I will see you guys when I either run out of wool or when I am basically done. So, see you guys in a little bit. So as you can see here, I am almost done with it, but I have completed the first story and I am working right now on putting in a sort of floor for this second story so that we will eventually be able to walk around up here and I don't know, put stuff up here if we really feel like it. So totally misplaced that block. So let's mine that. And then we can continue work on this outer story here.
little update here, guys. As you can see, I've added some sort of floors here. However, oh wow, yeah, I definitely didn't give myself a way to get off of this sucker. So, I'll add these up here. So you take that back. And so now I have a way to get to the second story. Take you off. As well as, let's see, let's just finish that over. As well as the third story here, and I've restocked up on all my wool since I did run out of the white that was on me. However, it looks like I'm going to have way more than enough to actually finish this build, which is awesome. Because I've never actually done a, I guess this isn't quite a mega build, but this is quite the large build um, just for like regular standards. And it's much bigger than I've ever done before in not in creative mode so you know in survival mode as we are so now that we are up here let's see oh well, that's right now I need to add in I guess obviously in Minecraft since physics don't usually apply I don't need the support ring but this is going to be sort of the base on which I'm going to build my actually the lantern portion of this so, I seem to have yet again forgot materials at the bottom. So, I will go down and I am going to add on the glowstone and then add on the top. And I'll see you guys when I am done with that. Hey guys, and I'm back here, and as you can see, I've just added the glow glowstone in here to keep this all nice and lit up on the inside while it is night, and I just realized I need to place some blocks to fill these holes. So let's see, that'll be another white. And yeah, as, as you probably noticed, I fell down this little hole right here twice while during the little speed section there. So there we go, we got that all nice and filled up. So since ladder is unplaceable on glowstone, that's too bad. And since I made it too high, I can't jump to the next one. So that top section there will be inaccessible for the time being. Let's actually cap this off with some glowstone. So yeah, we'll just take out this ladder that we just put up. There we go. We got some glowstone at the top there. So if we're ever up really high, I guess we can see it. And here's our top room, our middle room and the floor so I think all that's left is to dig up this floor and I'm not gonna actually do anything fancy in here as I have done before we're just gonna make it one nice solid brick floor and then I think we can call that a day pretty excited I didn't think that this build would go nearly as fast or take nearly so many materials it's sort of embarrassing since I could have made this then like ages before because I've had let's see I th I don't think I even used half the wool that I have which means you know that would have been very viable to do much earlier so let's just cap off all this sand 
some nice stone bricks baked in my very own oven. I guess the bricks weren't baked, but the stone, but the cobblestone was baked into regular stone and back into the bricks. Okay. There we go. Almost there. Let's see, we got some more stone bricks here. So this <clears throat> this whole lighthouse project was actually one of the very first suggestions that I got of something to do on the Endeavor scheme, and I know it's taken a while, but I thought I had to gather a lot more resources than I guess I did. However, if you guys want to see anything else added to my world, as always, I am open to suggestions, and I love to hear them as to what you think I need. One of the next things I know I need is a brewing stand, but after that, what do you guys? What would you guys like me to add? So please be sure to, if you did like this build, oh, and I should really take a look at this lighthouse from all the way back here now that it is oh <gasps> and there's my lighthouse so as you can see I tried to carry the stripes along as best I could but it's not always possible but there you go man it looks a little squat and fat but that's all right maybe we can make a better lighthouse sometime later but I'm pretty happy with this one for right now so if you did like the episode please be sure to like comment and subscribe and if you have any suggestions for what you would like to see next, as always, send those suggestions my way, and I will see if I can make them happen. So, until next time, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on the Endeavored Scheme.